And we're live. Welcome to, what is this? The 36th sprint review call uh, for the common stack. There's always so much going on every two weeks. So let's just dive right into it. Uh, share some screen here. And let's, I'll start off with the budget. So uh, these budgets are always done uh, uh, on the first of every month. And so it's April 8th today. Uh, so they're, they're about a week old. And a lot has changed. So the association has eight thousand dollars in it. It's which is great uh, uh, on the first, but and now it actually has thirteen thousand and seven and eight hundred dollars almost uh, in it. So it's going to be start. The association is going to be able to start paying salaries again, which is fantastic news. And I'm sure uh, Maria and Yanesi will talk more about bringing uh, all the extra, all the renewals in. Uh, great work there, and. Uh, the community budget is looking also kind of dire. Uh, we only have $41,000 in our, in our holdings in the community budget because uh, we we have a, a decent chunk of salary debt. But uh, this is also a week old and we had a Gitcoin funding round and we have a lot of, uh, a lot of ideas in the works to get some, get some more funding in. However, if you, are, if you care about the common stack, don't be shy please donate to commonstack.eth. You can even donate on Giveth and get uh, get a bunch of Give tokens in return. So uh, don't be shy, support the common stack because uh, we're running short on funds. Let's just be real. Uh, also, however, even though we're short on funds, we needed development support. So uh, we actually hired Paco. Uh, he was a contributor from the common simulator and has been a contributor in metagame and one hive and all sorts of things. He took us several months off of development just to be in the real world. And now he's coming back and he wants to fight the good fight. So we're very lucky that he wants to fight that fight with Common Stack uh, and support us in and his first task will be to work with Zeptimus actually on the ABC stats page so that we can show everyone that when they're converting, they're actually in uh, in convert.tcommons.org what's happening, you know, so that, uh, and actually show that it's a bonding curve and it's not just a Uniswap thing. So it'll be uh, very cool, very cool. And thank you, Paco, for jumping in. Uh, also in this sprint, we uh, we got our first region, our region partnership came through and I'll let Tiago dive into that. But as a steward of the, of the governance power that it comes with, uh, we voted yes uh, as a community to, uh, to support the people, to create community assistance around people who lost their wallets uh, from the genesis of Regen. So people, people bought into Regen Network and they supported Regen Network before the network was up and then they lost their wallets or there were various issues, technical issues about backing them up and, and problems around that. So uh, this, this proposal hopes to support them and help them get their Regen back. Uh, and uh, one last thing that I think is worth shilling is that there is a new NFT series out, the Zine. Uh, this is from Block Science, uh, Jeff and Jess and uh, and uh, Zargum and, and Kelsey Navin all work together to create this awesome NFT uh, uh, series. And there's uh, one bid. The First NFT so far, it's worth one ether already, which is super cool. Uh, navigating information structure, they're going to do these auctions on the regular. So if you want to get in on this crazy NFT drop, don't be shy. Uh, make a bid and check it out. Uh, the link will be down below. Uh, they were very generous and gifted some of these NFTs to the Common Stack and to Token Engineering Commons and to various other organizations that supported uh, this research. So. Yeah, so in fact, we own the Automating Ostrom one, I believe. So that's super cool. And I will pass it to Tam to continue the fun. Cool. Awesome. So um, we are um, ending Sprint 36. And after this, we'll have our retrospective. But uh, I'll let Ivy tell you about the name that was chosen and why right after the, the, this, uh, this update. Uh, the big news that we have right now to share that I'm so excited about, and I'm so excited so many people are excited about, is the uh, Commons Prize nominations are now open. So I'm going to share my screen. And I think I'll pick the right screen. Cool. Uh, the nominations are open. Um, last sprint, we said that we had an interest campaign that was running. We had about 20 different communities share that they were very interested in comments. They had some questions. 
Um, and we uh, have an announcement on our Medium page. Please go to it. It describes uh, what the prize is, um, some criteria for eligibility, what actually is a commons, what kind of communities should be um, should be uh, 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 applying for the nomination. Um, and I'm just going to go through some of them pretty quickly, but nominations for the Commons Prize should be a community. Uh, so not just one group of people, not just one project. It has to be a community that's supporting public goods because that's our raison d'etre. It must have basic familiarity with Web3. So if you know MetaMask, it's probably good enough. But if everyone in the community is going to really struggle with using MetaMask with on-chain governance tools, um, there is going to be probably a long delay or an initial onboarding that would have to happen first. So we're, we're really looking for a community that already has some familiarity. Uh, must be committed to the partnership with the trusted seed who will actually be the membership organization that chooses the community who's going to win the Commons Prize and then committed to the build process and have the resources to fund it. Um, essentially, there's four phases. I'll talk about them in a few minutes. And there's a few different roles, steward roles that would be necessary for the community to provide as well as some stakeholders. Uh, if you are ready to make a nomination, uh, thanks to Inese who created this cool landing page and type form, um, you can go to the type form and here at the bottom, submit your nomination. We have about three already and we just uh, launched earlier this week, launched the form earlier this week. You have to bring this, okay, cool. So uh, timeline, very high level. Uh, Commons Prize and Commons Deployment will be something like this. The Commons Prize is running now until uh, May 6th. These dates might change, but right now uh, we're closing nominations on May, May 6th and then we're gonna have two voting rounds. The first will be for three to five finalists, uh, all selected by the trusted seed. And then the second will be a finalist runoff. So um, at the end of May, we should have the winning community. They will be awarded the prize and we should hit the ground running and get started immediately in June. Um, the, these are the dates that we have so far for the Commons Prize. And then for the Commons deployment itself, super high level, there's four phases. In the first phase, we're going to initialize the, the project. So we will have some work agreements um, that we agree to. Working agreements, initialization of the reputation DAO. We'll set up some platforms and tools that we'll be using, um, maybe set up some cadence for meetings and coordination. In the second phase is launching of the core working groups, um, having a community come together to select the mission, vision, and values of the community, uh, have selections for conflict resolution, legal, and other key elements. And then phase three is actually the hatch, where the community will select together the parameters for the hatch DAO and will begin fundraising for their commons. Um, that will take a uh, few, two to three months. And then lastly, the commons upgrade. This is again where the community learns about the parameters of their economy that they're launching. So the community will submit and select the parameters for the augmented bonding curve and for conviction voting or DAO voting. And this is something that the common stack team will help this community um, go through. Um, so if you have any questions about the Commons Prize, please reach out to Usama. Um, he's gonna be the point of contact uh, and he's gonna uh, have um, really be probably inundated with a lot of questions, but is gonna be ready, willing and, ready and willing to answer any questions you have. Uh, news from Token Engineering. We have a special guest here today to present the uh, Transparency's financial audit that he presented to the Stewards Council just yesterday. So I'm going to pass it to Zeptimus to just give a 30 second overview of the audit that he presented. Thank you, Dam. Yeah, actually, like yesterday, we did a presentation on how the funds of DC are going, like it's the first commons. And yeah, we did a presentation on the TC. Uh, and yeah, the goal is like, uh, like it's like a short presentation, but the idea is also like to everyone can see it. So that also can report back some uh, like information on how the distance by audit should be run. Like it'd be nice like if uh, like run uh, any feedback you could share like to me and Ivy, I think that'd be great. Uh, 
Yeah, like basically like uh, this part of the audit is like focusing on the budgeting, like how the commerce is going and uh, how long can be sustainable. And actually like we thought, uh, we, we saw here like uh, we need to work on the revenue and this is something like we are doing on the TC right now. So uh, yeah, I think it's helping like us to understand how, how are we going and where we, where, we, where we should look at. Cool, thanks Yuzep. Hey, who else should we praise for this? Is there other people that we should praise for this awesome audit? It was really, really a great job. Yeah, actually, like this is like uh, like we are doing all this part uh, together. Like this part, uh, part four is mostly like me, and then Efra doing the designs. But actually, like the like like the whole audit is like uh, we're doing by NT ratio, Ivy and myself. Uh, so yeah, check out uh, and when it's complete, it's going to be like a lot of information available for the TC. Cool. Thanks so much, Jeff. Uh, other news from the token engineering commons, you know, I want to say there's like at the TEC seems to have reached this level of maturity where there is a lot of initiatives that are just continuing slow and steady. Lots of progress is made. Nate and Manu are doing an amazing job um, leading and coordinating the stewards working group. Ed, uh, Edu, Nate, Gideon and Communitas are setting the standard for onboarding into a DAO. Chewy is building this creative agency DAO for token engineering initiatives. I'm, I just want to say it's really impressive to see the token engineering comments and how uh, successful and mature that community has been. And you can be the next commons if you fill out our nomination form. <laughs> Uh, and uh, one last thing before I go, uh, some of us will be in Amsterdam for the four conferences that are happening there, um, Taoist, Shelling Point, uh, ETH Amsterdam, Dev Connect. If you will be there, please reach out to us, reach out to me. I think uh, myself and other people would love to meet you. And with that, I'm going to pass to Livia. Thank you, Tam. Yeah, I also want to express my excitement for the Commons Prize. I can't wait to meet our next Commons. Um, and from news from the reward system, uh, we have a new praise bot that was developed by ViviV. And uh, we have three functions. So one great thing about the new praise bot is that once you activate, you already have to provide your ETH address. So that helps us a lot in the moment of distribution because um, yeah, we need all of that part automated. So. When we do the distribution, everyone who received their scores from Praise and Assume Source Cred will receive their tokens right in their preferred wallet. So we always ask to have a public, um, an address that you feel comfortable having it public, uh, just because we have a lot of transparency audits and we always uh, like to keep everything um, available if we need this information. And yeah, so you just need to type slash activate and link your eat address and, and follow the instructions and you will be ready to praise and be praised. And soon and this bot is going to come to the common stack too. So we'll have that in the in the CS Discord. And please join our, our Discord if you're watching this call and you're not there yet. And also we have a new function that's exciting. So in the end of this calls and also um, in the community calls in the TC, we, we have verbal praise. So in the end of this call, Griff will praise all of the people who are not here who have been doing amazing work. And for this praise to be captured and actually turn into rewards, um, we have uh, Miss Jean uh, in the common stack and Mount Manu in the TEC praising on behalf of um, of others of um, of everyone who is dishing it verbally. So before we had this uh, making the data a little bit dirty because it felt like only one person was praising so much. And then now with this command, um, we will be able to see who sent the praise and who is just uh, typing the praise. So we'll have that distinction and this is this is awesome. And also we just finished the fifth quant um, and we're starting the sixth one. So we're catching up with the old praise and we're arriving to December and, and January. So this period, um, soon we're gonna catch up with the present time and we've been having quants every week. Um, 
when when we catch up the intention was to do every two weeks so it doesn't get heavy on anyone but also we're having a growing pool of quantifiers which is awesome so um, not so many people need to uh, be drafted to quantify every time so if you're interested in understanding how praise works um, and also wants to show your duty as a community member to quantify the work and the valuable contributions from others uh, become a quantifier you can talk to me to know how to do that if you if you want to and and also after the quants we've been having after the quant sessions are over we've been having these review sessions which are so helpful to just listen to the experience the quantifiers are having are having and uh we we usually have some issues that come from this of things that can be improved and then we can continue to integrate this feedback in the system and and continue to improve the dashboard and just the praise experience the onboarding um on how to praise and on how to quantify and then um a little bit on softgov um I did a restructuring of the form because uh, some people were reporting difficulty in understanding um, how to uh, how to submit a proposal, how to understand our governance process. So I separated all of these modules here on advice process, conviction voting, cow voting, and snapshot. And each one of them has a little description for you to understand how to how to use it. And it's always helpful to start with advice process and uh, this is never pinned here okay i'll have to fix that out oh, here so yeah you can read about um how to how to ask for small impact decisions medium impact decisions large impact decisions and all of these topics have uh our little map here the graph of how to how to propose to the tc and also on the Gravity Land, uh, they just released a new Medium page and a new article. So you can read about what is Gravity, what are they doing, conflict management and trust creation in the web tree. This is so important and go support Gravity with their new Medium page and understand a little bit more about what's going on in Gravity. And also uh, the case studies. So Nate and Anne and Brody has been have been doing amazing work in the case studies. And I don't uh, often shill it here. I should be talking way more about it, but it's just because it's a long, it's a long process, a long work that um, it doesn't have too much to show every week because it's a writer process and an analysis of the community and of um, the cultural build in general and the learnings we've been having from TC. So just want to update that there's a lot happening in here and that soon we'll have amazing case studies coming to the community. And with that, I'll pass to Ivy. Thank you, Lydia. Um, All right, so uh, sprint, um, sprint 36, uh, Osama and I picked the sprint name, um, Batting a Thousand. So um, batting a thousand in baseball, uh, it means uh, to get a hit every time uh, one is at bat or to get everything in a series of items, right? So um, this past uh, sprint, uh, we can say that we pretty much got a lot of things um, right. So from the launch of the Commons Prize, um, reaching out to trusted seed members about the, uh, the membership renewal, um, releasing the March newsletter and uh, kicking off our um, region month. All right, so um, so as Tam uh, uh, Tam mentioned earlier, so we announced the Commons Prize. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we announced the Commons Prize and published a Medium article about that. So um, you can find all the details that Tam was talking about earlier uh, in this uh, Medium article, and uh, you can also find the link uh, to the nomination form at the bottom. So I will be also sharing this link in the uh, uh, YouTube description uh, when uh, uh, of this video. 
so you can uh, easily get access to the uh, to the medium article and find all the details that you need to know uh, to uh, uh, to join the uh, common space. And then um, also in, on Twitter, so we uh, last month uh, in March, we wrapped up the uh, inclusion month and uh, we, wrap up, we wrap it up with uh, by sharing some uh, quotes from um, different members from our community. So uh, they shared um, their uh, uh, insights into or their um, uh, insights into the inclusion culture in the uh, public good space. And then uh, we also, uh, and then the past, past sprint, uh, we kicked off the uh, uh, region month uh, this April. So we uh, shared this first um, uh, content uh, from uh, Refi DAO, and you can find it on our Twitter. So just look for, um, and we'll be sharing more content pieces about a region uh, and using this hashtag. So um, in the future, you can just uh, search for this hashtag so you can uh, see all the um, content that uh, we'll be sharing uh, for our um, region month campaign. And then also in Common Stack, uh, I uh, uh, on the Common Stack Association. So I uh, just want to give you an update that the board already voted on the new um, uh, association address, and um, we are currently in process of um, uh, yeah, we are uh, uh, currently processing the uh, acquiring the new uh, address, and we'll be uh, sharing more updates about that in the future. And then uh, in TEC, so um, Zap um, showed earlier the uh, financial um. Uh, trans uh, transparency report, and it's only a part of this bigger uh, transparency audit that um, the transparency working group is working on. So, um, uh, ZEPT ratio and T and I are working on uh, different um, uh, information that we want to share with the uh, community uh, that we want to be more transparent about. So, uh, this is a transparency check on the processes uh, in the from January to March uh, this year, and the decisions and the vote uh, vote results that um, happened in the past three months, uh, the funding pool reserve, uh, the buying and selling activity in the community and the uh, governance token. So uh, this is still a work in progress, but uh, we have, uh, I, uh, I can say that we have um, progress a lot in this uh, audit report. And then also in transparency, um, uh, good news that we have uh, that the funding proposal for a legal working group has already passed and executed. So. Uh, we, we, we requested 12,000 wrapped X type for the contingency fund and the retroactive bonus for our previous um, contributors. And also from a uh, legal uh, oh, also from legal uh, working group, we also have uh, we have new contributors, Teresa and uh, Wonju, uh, who will be helping uh, us with the uh, future um, uh, legal documents for the TEC. And um, finally, the terms and conditions for submitting and challenging proposals are now. Uh, or you can find them now on our Gitbook, on TC Gitbook, and uh, we'll be also integrating this in the Covenant soon. So um, that's it from me. I pass it to uh, Maria. Thank you, Ivy. So I'm still in, at the Giveth House, and that's why I'm with Septi, and also meeting a bunch of people. Uh, today we are hosting uh, Doris from Hair hey down, <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yeah, we are also expecting one of our members, one of the trusted team members today, uh, Gustavo, and he will be staying uh, for a week with us. Um, so it's fun to be here and meeting some of the members. Yesterday, uh, we went to the refi meetup. Yesterday or two days ago, I don't remember. I don't know what day it is. Uh, too much party uh, with the members of the Trusted Seed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I met uh, even more members and it was great. Um, I have some news, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Mercedes, uh, one of our members who was uh, scheduled for April's uh, project showcase canceled at the last minute. Uh, things happens. But so that uh, project showcase has been rescheduled. Uh, so be on the watch out for, for the new uh, date for that uh, project showcase. So we might have two project showcase for, for April, which is, I don't mind. I always love to <laughs> um, introduce uh, all the projects that our members are involved with and, and the ideas that, that come up from, from those uh, conversations. Uh, I'm also uh, glad to announce that we have retake the onboarding uh, the onboarding uh, journey for members 
or newcomers. And so we have opened a discussion in Discord uh, for this. We are using the Treehouse on Thursdays. Uh, the, day, the, the time for that is going to change because I have a little issue with double booking <laughs> in my calendar. But uh, you are very welcome to, to come and, and talk about onboarding because so far the conversation has been turning about how to humanize the, the onboarding process, especially when, when we talk about blockchain, which can be a super very rabbit hole. Uh, <laughs> and we don't want people to get frustrated in, in, in their journey, uh, learning about blockchain and Web3, and especially blockchain, blockchain for good. Uh, so we also were at the Celo Connect conference. It was great uh, talking about refi, regener regenerative economies, uh, carbon offsets, all the amazing things that have been done uh, in terms of uh, climate change and blockchain. I met wonderful people. Um, some of them are working with new nodes for that are uh, climate compliant. Um, people who are working on making um, freelance experiences uh, better with DAOs. Um, and yeah, uh, it was great to be there. I was a volunteer, uh, <laughs> so I got to help too. Uh, yeah, I talked to the Daoist Refine Meetup. I met uh, Felipe Duarte and Inga. I have been talking to them in Discord and now seeing them in person was great. Uh, I also got a uh, green build. I met the people from Gitcoin <laughs> uh, and they, they are great. They came to the house and and I went to their house in Barcelona for the week and we we had great conversations. So in terms of uh, the trusted seed numbers, we have a renewal uh, period open. So if you are a member of trusted seed and in 20, in 2021, 20, uh, you were active with us uh, with all of our achievement, getting the, the, uh, the first commons to upgrade, to hatch, um being part of the give economy <laughs> and also uh joining the ixo earth uh project um when they launch if you want to be with us on with the next comments which is going to be very exciting uh please renew your your membership uh the period is is open until june 30th and if you have any questions, concerns, or problems with the DAP, uh, our DAP is presenting some hiccups, but you can come to me. Uh, my Discord and Telegram is open uh, to, for inquiries. Uh, and yeah, so, so far we have 20 renewals, more than 20 renewals. I have to update the data for today. Uh, since the last um, spring, we had seven applications two more activations, and now we are 347 members of the trusted seat. So we are growing slow, uh, step by step, but it's it's fun to have uh, people to, to join our mission and hopefully uh, help us with the choosing of the next comments. <laughs> um, with that, I'll pass it to Gina. Thank you, Maria. And yes, I'm always hopping of hearing that kind of invitations to join <laughs> the Trusted Seed member, uh, membership and also to be uh, to participate in this uh, uh, in, the, in the launch of the next commons. And that's what leads us here. The commons price is here, and we as well as Tom said and Ivy said, we launched this uh, campaign recently. And uh, we created a medium blog post, which is great. But also, we have this amazing Twitter thread here where we, where we uh, summarize all the medium details. So you can find it pinned in our Twitter right now. You can find all the details, but of course, the medium blog post is great because you have all the descriptions on how can you uh, participate and then. Uh, and you will find the uh, eligibility criteria for being part of the Commons Prize. So, yeah, <laughs> this is the big news. And uh, we have this amazing landing page 
I help uh, a little bit in the creation of uh, this great uh, landing page, and you will find, of course, the uh, form to uh, nominate your uh, community at the bottom. So speaking about great news, of course, we uh, sent recently our March newsletter, which is here. Uh, so it is uh, filled up with uh, great news about the common stack uh, and the trusted seed uh, and um, our uh, ecosystem. So uh, of course, <laughs> we have to celebrate uh, and, um, the announcement of the Commons Prize, which is here. And we have a great recap of all the um, great events and um, campaigns and activities that we have um, during the, we had during uh, March, which is which, which was the inclusion month. And uh, yeah, if, if you want to um, subscribe to our uh, um, newsletter, you can find uh, the link in the. Uh, YouTube description and also is here. You will see this information and so you can <laughs> subscribe and don't miss, don't miss up the uh, upcoming news. Uh, what else uh, we have? Uh, of, of course, <laughs> we started our um, region uh, month campaign. Uh, we started uh, sharing information and highlighting organizations that are in the uh, region um, aspect and the region uh, yeah, topic, <laughs> let's say. And uh, we have an upcoming MAA uh, on Digital to Region. It will be on April 21st. And we will share soon the information uh, about who is going, who are going to be the panelists. And um, yeah, that's all from me, my side. <laughs> Osama, it's your turn. Thanks, Jenny. Uh, yeah. So uh, during this sprint, uh, we have made some major progress as uh, our sprint name suggests, uh, like, you know, we have been doing things in the right manner. Uh, we have successfully launched the Commons Prize and, you know, nomination forms is already live. Uh, you can submit your nominations uh, in case if you need any kind of help, uh, if you need any issue, uh, if you face any issue when you when you are submitting the form, uh, you can directly reach out to me as well. Um, I will be adding my uh, Discord handle and also the common stack Discord handle as well uh, in the YouTube description. Uh, for the YouTube content, we have distributed last sprint uh, 35 review uh, video, uh, you know, and if you need any information, this is the best place to check out. So, and if you don't have much time, you can check the summary on the YouTube description where we have summarized the important points uh, that has been discussed in the last sprint. Uh, for the Twitter, uh, you can say if we have launched uh, the uh, campaign that is regarding region to uh, region month, we will be sharing information um, and material from those DAOs. Uh, who are working in this field and are leveraging uh, the open financial system with a low time preference and, uh, you know, making it democratic. Uh, and lastly, I can say uh, we've been working on the CS content newsletters and a lot of content and there are a lot of content that's coming out in the next episode, so we are not going to disclose it now. And uh, yeah, uh, so stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube and Twitter channel. And uh, yeah, uh, with that, I will pass it to uh, Tiago. Thank you, Osama. Um, for the region partnership, uh, we have uh, this print, we have contract signed, yay, which uh, uh, gave us the access to the region tokens here as we received it. And now we can participate in their governance, as Griff said earlier. Uh, so we are very excited. We participated in uh, those voting uh, opportunities. And uh, as we are in the region month, uh, uh, if you want to engage with us, know more about it, about the partnership and uh, participate in this kind of uh, opportunities to understand what region is doing and understand what we can do with them in this partnership. Just uh, talk with me on Discord or with Maria. We are open to discuss and soon we'll be in touch. 
So with that, I think it's wrap time, right, Griff? Yep. Yeah, and, and I just yeah. want to add to, to the region partnership, uh, Shell, that we're staking behind Ixo. Uh, so if anyone has any uh, better ideas, that's that's fine. But we really love Ixo and are partnered with them in many things. Uh, and we're making about 400 region a day off of the half a million region that they gave us to stake. So, uh, wow, incredible, uh, incredible support for our much needed budget. Uh, but yeah, it's praise time. It's the praise wrap. So I'm just going to get into it. I want to praise for Shell for always helping me put together the budgets every month. Uh, I couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much for Shell. Praise Paco for jumping into the common stack and holding down the development side for us uh, for now and the future. Uh, praise Austin and uh, for cat herding around this region governance proposal. Uh, praise Kelsey, Michael, Michael Zargum, Jeff Emmett, Premier De Felipe, Josh Tan, Danilo, uh, Jessica, J like Jess from the Common Stack, Ellie, Vicky, Max, Matt, uh, Nico, and and everyone else who is involved with this awesome novel NFT drop that uh, the, the Zine that uh, that Block Science just dropped and gave gave some to us. Thank you so much. Uh, and also praise Zephimus Ratio and NT for their hard work pushing the TEC transparency audit forward. And special praise to Efra for making it the most beautiful audit report I've ever seen by far. Uh, praise Nate and Mount Manu for taking on coordination uh, of the stewardship of the TEC. Praise Gideon, Edu, Nate, uh, and Nate for the Communitas work, uh, setting a standard for onboarding in Web3. Praise Chewy for building the creative agency a DAO to support TE initiatives, the team. Uh, praise ViveIV for the incredible work on the new praise bot and all the bots that he does in the reward system. Praise Christopher for the overall coordination of making the reward system happen. Praise to Mitch for recruiting and onboarding so many people to the quantification pool. Praise Maddie G for rising out of the community and taking on the new lead dev role and also for uh, in the reward system and pushing innovative solutions on the development side. Uh, praise Nebs for all the back end work. Praise Nuggin for the incredible work on the Rad dashboard. Praise Z-Way for also jumping in. Uh, uh, sorry, ju ju uh for jumping in and bringing her expertise into the Rad dashboard to help us make it a product. Uh, praise Mike for taking on installation DevOps work. It's worth mentioning that Mike, ju and Maddie G all got hired uh, either this sprint or last. It was right on the cusp of last sprint. So uh, the reward system team is like getting a big push forward with lots of expertise. Uh, praise Al Jean for transcribing uh, all the praise in these calls. Uh, praise Wonka for the whole Gravity DAO community work that he's been doing and all the all the Gravity DAO people for uh, pushing this uh, very important initiative forward. Praise Nate and Anne for pushing hard on the case studies and praise uh, Pedro Parachia for his feedback and clarity in the governance forum. Uh, also praise Rodri for the cool graphics in the Commons prize launch. Praise Al Jean for, for contributing to our Twitter uh, content. Uh, 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 praise Chris and Jeff for giving their feedback and voting on the new association address. Praise Teresa and Boon Ju for joining the TC Legal Working Group and actually jumping in. It's so nice to have lawyers on board. Uh, praise Franco, Lorelai, and Dan for stewardship of the Giveth House and making such a great space for Maria and everyone else in the Blockchain for Good community to land. Praise Felipe and Inga for all the work they do to lead the DAO forward and for uh, all the shout outs they give us. Praise all the members who renewed their membership uh, and will score this early seed PO app, which is going to be super cool. Uh, praise TV and Innovator for joining the onboarding revamp sessions in Discord. Praise Dina, Renee, Merrick, and, and Sepp for organizing the Cello Connect in Barcelona. Uh, praise for Shell, Anna Marie, Gustavo, and Rodri for participating in our Inclusion Month Twitter campaign, providing us their perspective on culture and inclusion in the public good space. Praise Heather for always being there, helping our team with one on ones when needed. Praise Rodri for his work in creating illustrations for the ABC article. Praise Austin and all the region team for coordinating the contract with the and and. Uh, the regen transfer and uh, and even they gave us a 10 extra regen so we had some um, some gas money basically uh, so that was super cool praise for Shell and Maria for coordinating in uh, Tiago's agreement update praise Maria for onboarding uh, Tiago into the onboarding improvement project and praise Livia for the nice call about how to advertise the region partnership 
And yes, and and praise you for listening to our entire review, sprint review. You know, somehow we are cramming all of this, all of the stuff that we did in the last two weeks into, you know, about half an hour, 40 minutes of, of talks and, and it's hard. So if, if thank you so much for participating and listening in and, and uh, don't forget to renew your membership and apply if you know any comments uh, that you want to nominate. Uh, please fill out our nomination form. Get let's get let's see who the next comments is going to be. It's exciting times. Uh, thank you all, and I'll see you in two weeks.